My name is Jennifer, and this is my aha moment. In 2005, my daughter was 18 months old, and she started having seizures. And we found, well, the doctors found a, a walnut-sized tumor. We weren't living in a town that had a children's hospital, so we were constantly on the road, about an hour and 15-minute drive, taking her up for tests and doctor's visits. The whole time that this was going on, I kept working. I decided that I could be super mom, that I could do all of this, that I could influence policy by day and take care of a sick child and minister to a typical healthy child um, as well by night and made it through the first couple of months. Um, she did have surgery and they removed the tumor. Her seizures, seizures stopped. But as we started weaning her off her medication, they came back. And um, I remember being in the pediatrician's office. She had a fever, um, just a little virus or something. And we were sitting in the pediatrician's office, and she had a seizure. And I got in the car, and I called my husband. I said, she had a seizure. I'm not going back to work. And he said, you mean today? And I said, no, I mean ever. I realized that... Um, what my child needed was me. My son needed me because his sister was sick and he got shoved to the side a lot. So um, I quit work and I got to go to classroom parties and I got to spend time with him as he went through his kindergarten year and I got to be at home with her um, and have the peace of mind that I could watch her, I could be with her, I could um, just love on her all day long. Um, and. Being a stay-at-home mom is harder than working, <laughs> than being a working mom. So, um, but it was good. It was it was wonderful. I was there. I was able to be there when she needed me, when my family needed me, and I just had to realize that women don't have to do it all. They do have choices, and sometimes that choice means giving up that career because uh, your family needs you.